expressing Switzerland's solidarity with the people of India. We share with you stories about various organizations we are supporting with their efforts to deal with COVID-19 and its aftermath. The Swiss representations across the country join hands to reach out to the people that are most affected by this unprecedented pandemic. The UC Foundation is working in India and Nepal since almost 45 years and uh, has the goal to give something back uh, from the good life that we enjoy here in Switzerland. Our support goes particularly to children and young people in need and gives them access to education and healthcare. The COVID-19 situation had a huge impact on our projects as we are working especially with the less privileged people. And uh, we observed that COVID-19 has created not only a health pandemic, but also a social pandemic. Thanks to the support from many donors and also the Embassy of Switzerland in Delhi, we were able to immediately step into action together with our local partners. We provided food packages to the families of the children involved in our schools and projects in Hyderabad, Kolkata and Pintakata and provided them with rice, dal, potatoes and oil. During the many years of activity in India, we also benefited from the cooperation and the support of the Embassy of Switzerland. From USI and the entire team, we would like to express our heartiest thank you for the financial support. One Action is an NGO headquartered in Geneva. And as of today, we run about a dozen environmental and educational projects across the world uh, in Latin America, Africa, Switzerland, and India. India is actually the place where it all started, where our first project was launched more than eight years ago in Bihar. Well, during these unprecedented times where uh, we decided to launch this initiative to deliver uh, emergency baskets to all those beneficiaries. And uh, luckily we could count on the, the support of the embassy uh, that very generously offered to, to support this project. You unfortunately won't be able to gather for the Swiss National Day. We still want to wish you a very festive and happy day and uh, best of luck with all your activities. The International Committee of the Red Cross is one of the largest humanitarian movement in this world. It has been responding, as you all know, in various emergencies over the years. In the present pandemic also, it is effectively and in a meaningful manner responding to mitigate and the control of the spread of this disease. It has been working through its partner in various areas of this world and also in India in various parts of the states uh, to mitigate the, and control the spread of this disease and providing relief and support to the affected population. We are proud of our long-standing association with the Swiss government uh, and the Swiss embassy present in Delhi uh, who, is, who is supporting a small action fund for this purpose. Thank you so much. The government of Puducherry has been advising its people to wash hands as frequently as possible. We are extremely happy that the Swiss Embassy has come forward to support the hand washing facilities at strategic points in Puducherry town through Lindsay Foundation, Switzerland and Immaculate Heart of Mary Social Service Society. Action for Self-Reliance and Alternatives, ASRA, is a charitable trust founded in 1992 with Ms. Vandana Mishra as its founder and managing trustee. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and the nationwide lockdown has pushed ASRA to switch to a remote model, forcing us to rework our workflow. Embassy of Switzerland is also financially supporting an ongoing project during the pandemic for awareness generation and distribution of essential items to needy persons with disabilities living in ASRA's adopted slums and resettlement colonies. 
Asra takes this opportunity to thank Asra Foundation Switzerland for its continuous support through the years and the Embassy of Switzerland for its generous donations that help us to continue working towards empowering persons with disabilities and marginalized segments of society.